always ready. You were born ready. I am ready. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Amen. If we can give on a good clap. Brother, please come. Eva, I thought I'd talk here in the world. Need a mic? Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is in the house. Three of you has got it. The Spirit of the Lord is in the house. The Spirit of the Lord is in this house. I had a vision. And it was Jesus standing between bleachers on a football field. And, and he put his hands here. And here. And he pulled down the bleachers. And said that, that this would be a year. No more participating as a spectator. No more in the bleachers. Thumbs up, thumbs down. No, 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 no. He has put you on the field. And for some, they've spent so much time in the bleachers. They find themselves on the field. They don't know what to do. I've never been here before. I've always been sitting here. Observing. But not doing. This is a year. Where the bleaches are down. God's calling for an increase. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, let me just thank you so much for having me. Honored to be here again. This is a year for your church. I got a, this gentleman that was behind me. Uh, Sir, I, I, I don't know you, but, but I do know that you're a, 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 a fan. You're someone who likes to applaud other people. You're not someone who looks at yourself and says, hey, me, me. But you, you can't wait to make someone else feel good. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So the bleaches are down. I was going to talk about valley. I got to go slow. The valley, the veil, and the victory. Victory. But... Because, because the Holy Spirit put something else on my heart, I'd rather obey God. Because if you've been saved more than six months, you really don't need another three-point sermon with an inspirational poem at the end and a takeaway. It's true. It's so true. What we need is fresh manna, yes? We need... I, I've been learning this in the past couple of years. I've been pastoring for 20 years. But I've been learning things the last two. <laughs> and one of the things I'm learning is far more important to listen to what heaven has to say. I spent 18 years telling heaven what to do. I spent the last two years saying, heaven, what would you like to do? Feels better. It takes all the pressure off of you. Here's a revelation. If heaven says revival, then heaven is saying to you, I want this. I want you to be an instrument of getting it manifest on the earth. And so when heaven says something to you, it needs you to declare, to decree, to press in, 
to do whatever you need to do gera það sem þú þarft að gera to bring it into manifestation til þess að kalla fram þessa opinbyrun when we were doing uh, beautiful worship the, uh, whenever we talk about Jesus there's a lot, lot of songs about a lot of things a lot of songs about a lot of things but whenever we talk about the cross, the blood, the our Messiah, that it just it just brings me back. And we were singing that song, we worship you for who you are. And, and, and the, Holy, the Holy Spirit said to ask you. It says, we worship you for who you are. Who is he to you? Who is he to you? Is he Jehovah Jireh? Jehovah Jireh? Jehovah Rapha? Jehovah Rapha? Jehovah Sidkenu? Jehovah Sidkenu? Jehovah Nissi? Jehovah Nissi? Who is he to you? He's all of those things and more. Han er allir þessir hlutir og en miklu meira. But who is he to you? En hver er hann þér nákvæmlega? In in the gospel well, let's put it, Jesus said this to, to Jesus, his disciples. Jesus said that he said, it's expedient that I go. Because my father is going to send the promise. We all know about the baptism of John. It was for the remission of sins. It was to deal with sin. It but John, Jesus said, and Jesus said, there's a baptism coming. There's one coming who's going to baptize. I'm not worthy to carry his shoes. But when he comes, he's going to come and baptize you in the Holy Spirit. And he's going to baptize you with fire. Let me ask the church, Where's the fire? Hvar er eldurinn? Where's the fire? Hvar er eldurinn? You're not going to be baptized in the Holy Spirit in fire. You've been baptized in the Holy Spirit in fire. Og eldi. In fire. Og eldi. And I think about this. The revelation has, it's like having a fire, uh, uh, one of the, what do you call them, a torch. Þetta er eins og vera með svona kindir. It has all the potential to light something up. <laughs> it has all the potential to fire something up. But only if you pull the trigger. You're all fired up. <laughs> you just don't know who you are. Really, you just don't know. Who, and listen, I came here. I came here to challenge every person here. To condemn no one, but to challenge everyone. We are His plan A, and He has no plan B. And then Jesus said, "Go into the city." Go into the city and wait. Don't be anxious. Wait. Press in. Nothing happens without prayer. You need to be a praying people. You need to be a praying church. And he said, wait. You're going to be endued with power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, has the Holy Spirit come upon you? Then don't wait for the power. You have it already. The power is in you. It's the word of God. It can't lie. We're living below what's available to us. For the, for the past two years, I've been teaching our folks. Sister two or thought you were a kenna minu folki. That what they're looking for is already in them. That there's a gap. Do we are we a Pentecostal church? Do we speak in tongues? 
a whole lot. The more the better. Pastor, <laughs> when he, <laughs> he said, I speak in tongues more than y'all. <laughs> Must have been southern Jerusalem. <laughs> he said, don't depart, but wait. In Acts 1, he says, you're going to receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, has the Holy Spirit come upon you? Are we moving in power? So that's the sound of crickets. <laughs> but I think we have a mission. Look, look at Pentecost. Read the book of Acts, just the first two or three chapters. Well, Matt, no, go, go four chapters. Because the fourth chapter, it talks about going from house to house. It, it talks about multitudes being saved, coming into the kingdom. It talks about coming together on a regular basis. It's, if you people in the book of Haggai, it talks about go up to the mountain and come down with new lumber. People are the lumber for the building. But if I'm a, but if I'm a contractor, I can't get much built if the lumber doesn't show up. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Our job is to close the gap. When you look at what Pentecost was, power was released. There was the Holy Spirit and fire. I'd, I'd like to hang on to that and fire part. It's already there. You see, I, I, I'm not big on titles. Matter of fact, I, I, I don't like, a, a, a titles are like this. I, uh, hi, my name is Bob, I'm an apple tree. <laughs> if you know what your you? function is, yeah, <laughs> I would have a sign. <laughs> but, I, you know, I, I just get taken back a little bit. When people feel like they have to decree or, or, or acknowledge who they are. I, I teach our folks it's function. If, if I can see what you're doing, I'll know what you are. You go up there and try to play guitar and can't, we'll know that's not where you belong. So it's, it's function. If all of us will step into the gift that God has given us and just, and just do what we're supposed to do. No, no more, your part, your part alone. We'll begin to close the gap. How far, and again, I don't mean to be, yes I do. <laughs> I just want to be blunt. The, the body of Christ as a whole is so far away from the day of Pentecost. They waited, they were just ordinary folks like us. And they waited, the promise came. When the promise came, immediately they were changed. There was a Holy Spirit uh, uh, empowering that changed them on the inside. It wasn't a forced behavioral thing. It was an internal desire to do the things that were now burning on the inside. We need to close the gap. That first Pentecost, how can we call ourselves Pentecostals? When I, I, there's supposed to be fire over every head. Boldness, boldness in every person. Being a witness to Judea, Samaria, uttermost parts. See, if we really uh, have the baptism that was at Pentecost. It will have the same impact. It can't be less. 
Too much of the church as a whole has resorted to cerebral mental stuff, ja, thinking too much. Ja, okay. it's, it's, it's not, it, it has to be, and I noticed it here, it has to be, it has to be, it must be the presence of the Lord. It must be. We don't even have a church service. We say, come on folks, on Sunday, we're going to have a time in his presence. We make, order, we make our order of service. We make our agenda. But we're open for Holy Spirit. And this, there's always going to be a battle between those who want to uh, 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 be seeker sensitive. Sure. Mm, yeah. You're asking me? I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> and those who want to fire of Pentecost. I've been pastoring a church that Pastor Haldor started uh, 22 years ago. And we, we fought this battle back then. We discussed Seeker sensitive versus just going after it. It always came down on the side of going after it. <laughs> but the church as a whole has moved so far away. We have, listen, I'm not against programs. I'm not against conferences. They're necessary. They're good. But nothing can take away or compete with or measure up to the presence of the Lord, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And so I... I want to pray for you, not now. <laughs> but I want the fire. Don't, if you want the fire of Pentecost, <laughs> you want the release <laughs> of the fire <laughs> that's <laughs> in you, then maybe you just need to be relit. Yeah. I know you love Jesus. <laughs> you wouldn't even be here. I get that. <laughs> but you guys are building material. <laughs> God has decreed and I'm confirming it, and Guð I'm decreeing sagt, it in this place hér, that this is a year of restoration. This is a year where God áður, will bring rest reisa við. duration. Yes. Restoration comes in many flavors. Og það eru til it could endurisa. be res re restoration of a ministry. It can be restoration of your health. It can be restoration of your finances. Restoration comes in many flavors. You claim what restoration is for you this year. For the church, for this church, restoration is God going into the highways and the byways and taking people that have the name of this church tattooed on them and he's going to go get them and he's going to bring them in and they will be a foundation of new building, new building. What happened? I'm talking about Smara Kirka tattoo. Oh. <laughs> Just like you did. Amen. Well, I, I do believe. I don't, want, I don't want someone else where someone belongs somewhere else. There's enough people to fill every church. And so we want for this church those that belong to this church. Those, those that will agree. Yes, Lord. This is my assignment. Because once you say to the Lord, yes, Lord, you give him permission to now adjust you into the assignment you agreed on. And when that adjustment is made, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, see, nobody likes the valley of the shadow of death, but there's amazing things 
Everybody is nece- it's necessary yeah. to go through the valley. You're not going to go through the veil into the victory till you've been to the valley. In, in, in the valley, God shows you what you're afraid of. Now his rod and his staff are with you, but you don't know that the first time through. Did you know that the valley is a real place? That is a path from Jerusalem to Damascus. And it's deep in its, it's, deep in its dark. So, so dark that for 15 minutes a day, when the sun is directly overhead, is the, o- is the only time that valley gets any light at all. In these caves, in these caves in that valley, where thieves are there to rob, to steal, and destroy. And God said, yeah, your rod, his rod and his staff are there for us. But I promise the first time through, you won't know that. You'll have fears. And when God brings you through the valley, I had, I, there was a woman. We put her in a chair. You remember the hot seat? Praying like, so everybody's praying like crazy. Well, the Lord gave me a word for her. And, and, and he said, tell her she's angry with God. So I said, you're angry with God. <laughs> no, I'm not. Just blew me off. So I said, Lord, now what? He said, he said tell her she's angry with God. So I told her and she... Just, <sighs> and I said, Lord, this isn't working. <laughs> he said, tell her again. This went on for 15 minutes. I wouldn't give up. And she wouldn't give up. Because <laughs> I knew what I heard. So after 15 minutes, I said to her, which was now becoming very familiar to her, <laughs> you're angry at God. I'm not angry <laughs> She was angry at God. She was she went through her valley and in the valley she found the thing that needed to be that needed to die and die in the valley of that shadow of death it died there and there are things in you I'll give my own example I came to the Lord I was a faithaholic and I wanted to use faith (laughs) I wanted to use faith to build up what I already had a lot of. And, and so I claimed, I, I claimed every mountain, every, you name it, I told God what and to do all. Of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> None of it worked. <laughs> but I was so adamant about it, I did it for 10 years before I finally woke up. And I remember the Lord saying to me, do you, do, you, do you want me to teach you about the things of faith? I'm really like, 10 years! <laughs> I've been in, I thought I was learning the things of faith. No, 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 no. And he brought me to a place where I had all this stuff. Then I had this stuff. Then I had this stuff. Until I was living in a tent. And I, and I had asked God to give me the keys of the kingdom I said I want to know about kingdom finances so I went through the valley guess what I learned afterwards kingdom finances I learned the principles of finances but it hurt like all get out it hurt a lot (laughs) in the valley it's a great place not, not to live there, but to get through In it. that place, when I was at my end, yeah. every feeling of envy, anger, jealousy, they had a new car, they had a nice house, they had this. It was, it was, everything came up inside of me. And, and I said, man, I am a horrible person. <laughs> 
But the Lord had to bring it to the surface. Just, just like he wants to bring it to the surface in you. Not to condemn you. But to set you free. I mean to get that junk out of you. Some of you angry at God. I'm not going to have that battle with you. That's going to be between you and the Lord directly. But I know some of you are disillusioned. Some of you are frustrated. Some of you are frustrated. God hasn't answered you the way you want him to. I, I, I tell you this about God's answers. They're, they're never wrapped in the gift package that you want. They don't, he doesn't wrap his answers the way that we want them to. And he also doesn't give them to us when we want them. Sometimes we have to wait longer than necessary. But in the valley... He shows you what your fears are. He brings to the surface what he wants to take from you. And you'll be so much emptier in a good empty way. I remember one time I was impressed on my way home. I had to make a, I had to make a beeline for the bedroom. And, and when I got there, I just fell to my knees. And I just began to weep uncontrollably. And I, I had no idea what was going on, but I just, definitely a God thing. And I, 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 I don't know how long it went on. But when it was done, I, I guess it was a deliverance. But nobody was doing the deliverance but Holy Spirit. And when, when it was over, I could, it lifted. And, I, and here's, how, here's how I know it was a God moment. I, I began to laugh. And when I laughed, I laughed from the innermost part of my being. And there was absolutely nothing to stop it. Yeah. He wants to clean us up, not to condemn us. To, to, if we say we have nothing wrong with us, we're just lying to ourselves. Listen, I got a, I got a message about victory. Because victory is ours. In every area, we are those who triumph from triumph to triumph. But first, that's for Sunday, but for today. <laughs> there's, there's victory, but it's after the valley of the shadow. There's things, there's things that we are afraid of. There's things that we could be angry about. There's things that we're confused about. And, and all of these because we want to be good Christians. So we, so we don't dare to say, God, I have a problem with you. When, when the truth is we do. <laughs> and he, it's like he's not going to be surprised. Remember, he knew you in your mother's womb. He made, a he made a deposit then. As a matter of fact, someone needs to understand that when you're in your mother's womb, there was a deposit made. And, and you've been asking God, God, what, what use am I? Where, where, where am I to be used? How do I fit in? Go back. Farðu aftur til baka. Go back. Farðu aftur til baka. To when you first got saved. Afra alveg þang til þess tíma sem að þú frelsaðist fyrst. That passion you had. Og þessi eldmóður sem hafði. That desire you had without anybody prodding you or pushing you. Án þess að nokkur væri að ýta á þig eða. You wanted to either pray, read the Bible, study, preach, evangelize. There was something. Let the Holy Spirit. I don't care how much water there is between that point and now. Doesn't matter what you've been through. Our past is a rear view window. 
fortíð okkar er baksýnisbeinið. Our future is a big windshield. Ja, og framtíð okkar það er framrúðan. We can't drive looking through a rear view. Við getum ekki keyrt áfram og horft í baksýnisbeinið. Your past was a, a training ground. It was Fortíð a place. Fortíð var bara búðir. It was a place of perfecting you, not of not of destroying you. Það var að vera vinna í þér og fullkomna þig. Það var ekki þar var ekki vera eyðileggja þig. I hope you know what grace is. Ég vona að þið vitið hvað náð er. Grace in the book of Lamentations. Náðin í harmljóðunum. Is that God loves us so much? Guð elskar okkur svo mikið. That he doesn't kill us. Að hann drepur okkur ekki. And then it goes on to say. Og svo heldur það áfram og segir. His mercies. Náð hans. I was taking the rubbish and we have rubbish barrels and you put them out on the street. Ég var að taka ruslið og það eru svona ruslatönnur út á götunni. So I'm pushing the barrel out to the street. Þannig að ég er að íta tönninni þarna að götunni. And the Lord says to me. Og Guð segir við mig. I take your rubbish out every day. Ég tek ruslið þitt út á hverjum degi. I take your rubbish out every day. Ég fem með ruslið fyrir þig á hverjum degi. Every day is a new day. Don't you dare live in yesterday. Ekki vogað er að lifa þig gerðið. Your future is bright. Framtíðin er björst. And he said it's compassion. His compassion, we're limited. His love, we're limited. Hans ást og hans náð. But his compassion, it'll never fail you. Man, I don't care on your worst day, you are the righteousness of God. He had two covenants. One was a behavioral covenant to prove you needed a savior. But, and he knew we couldn't keep that covenant. We live under a new covenant. Amen. And under this covenant, because he knew we couldn't complete it, he made the covenant upon himself. He keeps the covenant. And he's not one to break a covenant. We need to believe who we are in him. In your valley, it's a shadow. But I'm convinced if we be honest before God tonight, that we could identify with Holy Spirit's help. We can identify that area in our life that's been a blockage. It's been a blockage of your increase. It's been a blockage of moving forward. Moving forward. Okay. I just know God wants to minister to you tonight. I, it, it, not, not, it's not, I just love his presence. Don't you love his presence? I would, I would not trade. His presence, because in his presence, there's a fullness. Guess what? It can't be found anywhere else. No matter how much money, how many things, they pale in comparison to his presence. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. Not joy by a comedian, but joy which becomes your strength, as it says in Nehemiah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. God's on your side, folks. God's on your side. Everything he wants to do is good. Everything he does is good. He wants to minister to you tonight. Each and every, the, the ones I know, the ones I don't know. The ones who have been saved a month, the ones who have been saved 50 years. So I think it's time for a serious time. Just rest your time to the Lord. This restoration, I just want to say again, restoration, when you're in your valley, when you're in your valley, God wants to bring a restoration. God wants to bring a restoration. To your husband and yourself. Til mansins þín og til þín. Be bold. Vertu djarfur. Let the Holy Spirit. Leiðu heilu manta. 
Be bold. You have more value than you give yourself credit for. You're a rock. You're solid. And the two of you are a mighty force in this region. I'd predict that this church will be full next time I come, but that sounds like I'm trying to gum that again next time. <laughs> oh, 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 Let's take a minute. Just bow your heads for a minute. Let's just take a minute in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we're praying for a Pentecost. We want to close the gap. The bleachers are down. We're on the field. It's, it's for some it's an awkward place to be we've never been on the field before we've never been given a task we've never been able to run with it so Lord we have to rely on you like never before Lord God Lord you love us so much that you're putting us through the valley you want to get us through there quickly you want us to be honest in the valley Lord these shadows I'm afraid of them Lord Lord, I'm afraid there's robbers, thieves, and killers in the in the caves. I, I, I have fears, Lord. I want to face them all here, Lord God. Because I know my next step, Lord. My next step is going through the veil. That's been rent for me, Lord God. To a place of victory. Holy Spirit, won't you come right now? Won't you come right now? Capture our attention, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. I think if the truth were known, and so I'm asking Holy Spirit how to do this, if the truth were known, every person in here should be affected by this, starting with me. To some degree, we're all holding back a little. Fear of the approval of man or the lack of it. Or you can't worry about your critics and move forward in God. Thank you, Lord. God wants to do something. He's, he's, he's doing something all over the world right now. In Iran, it's the fastest growing church in the entire world. There's no buildings and it's run by lady, women. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> all the women said amen. The man said, how come? <laughs> Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Holy Spirit. Uh, I want each one of us right now. I know God has touched some of your hearts. I hope He's touched every heart. Lord, we place ourselves in the valley right now. Lord, would you show us? what's that shadow that scares us what's that thing that needs to die and stay right here in the valley Lord make it clear Lord make it clear Lord we want to close the gap God we want to get back to the days of Pentecost restoration it, right now, restoration Enterest. across this, uh, from the front to the back, restoration of who we are in Him. Restoration. All condemnation goes right now. I, don't you dare condemn yourself. Don't make yourself bigger than God. He's forgiven you. 
You are righteous in his sight. You are righteous in his sight. Some of you are waiting for a sign to say, well, I, I do something, but I don't know what to do. Wait in the city till the promise is, comes to you. The promise will come to you. God's not a man that he should lie. He said that he's going to do it. Greater one lives and dwells on the inside of you. No weapon formed against you can prosper. No good thing, no good thing will he withhold from you. Hallelujah. 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 So Lord, would you just take away all this stuff that you brought to the surface? Just, just take it, Lord. Take it, Lord. Put it in that sea of forgetfulness, Lord. Give us a Give us a fresh courage, Lord. A fresh boldness, Lord. A fresh empowerment, Lord. A fresh infilling, Lord. If, if your prayer language has gotten stale, I pray right now for it to be revitalized. God will give you a new prayer language. God will give you a brand new prayer language. God will light the fire to your prayer language. Pentecostals. We were baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire. 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 fire all over this place, Lord. Let the fire fall. Jesus in Jesus' name. No more, Lord. Let your fire burn away the lukewarmness. Lord, it just happens. <laughs> yes, Lord. Let that fire burn away the dross, Lord God. I, I, I have a, a scripture comes to mind. It says, you got, this is going to be an ouchie. I call it back home an ouchie. <laughs> it says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the body of Christ because when you forsake it you begin to dry up you begin to isolate self-destruct so like I said I come to challenge not to condemn I challenge you not with my opinion but the word of God thank you Lord I'm just waiting. Lord is the, some, some, uh, uh, someone uh, three quarters that junk is three quarters of the way out, but not all the way. Yeah, we want it all the way, Lord. All the way, all the way, all the way. Out, 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 out. out. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Chosen vessels filled. Phil, the only way to get increase in the Holy Spirit is to decrease in yourself. <laughs> oh, Holy Spirit, go ahead, Holy Spirit. Yes, Holy Spirit. We love, we love your presence. We love your presence. We love your presence, Lord. We love your presence, Lord. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. That at the name of you, Jesus, every tongue will confess, every knee will bow. <laughs> No other name under heaven where man can be saved. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. I'm reminded, and I'm 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 going to close within the hour. <laughs> No, I, just, I want to encourage you in the area of healing in the area of healing I was in Brazil on a mission trip and I was at a church that was just packed out with Brazilians preached a sermon they, they didn't want to serve. They wanted, they wanted ministry. They didn't want to serve. And so I said, okay, all those who want to 
me to pray for healing come forward. Ég sagði okay, allir sem að vilja fyrir það. The entire bæn, church stood up. Komið hérna fram og það var það var allir sem komið. And I said, "Oh dear Jesus, where's the exit door?" Hvar er útgangurinn? Hvar er neðar útgangurinn? So I said, "Okay." So I approached this a young man. Ég kom þarna að ungu manni. Probably in his 30s. Sennilega að svona á einhver stara fertugsaldrinum. And I'm hoping he has a headache. Og ég var að vonast til að hann hefði bara höfuðverk. His mother's next to him. Og móðir hans er við hliðina á honum. And his mother said he hasn't spoken Mórann since sagði, he was three, three years old. Hann hefur ekki, hann He's ekki talað eitt einasta orð síðan hann var þriggja ára gammal. I said, oh dear Jesus. Er bara, oh, elsku no ég. headache. Ekki, ekki höfuðverkur. And he's deaf. Og hann er líka hernalaus. So he's deaf, hann er hasn't spoken. Og hefur ekki talað. Everybody's watching. Allir eru að horfa. My faith is out in the car. Trú mín er einhvers staðar út í bíl. And I want to go get it. Og mér langar til að ná í hana. But you're good, you know? Hitt <laughs> hann. You know? I did all the I did all the right stuff. Hit him in the ear. Þú gerir það rétt sem að gera og hrista og og veifa hundunum og Man, I just did everything I knew to do. Ég gerði allt sem ég hélt að gera. Ain't nothing happened. And I tripped it was in the front and I was in the back and then we switched sides and I tell you I, God's honest truth faith was not flowing <laughs> the only thing was flowing was feet I, I, and I kept looking at the next door saying, svona, að sigra mig og ég var alltaf að leita að einhverju útgöngu so útgöngu I was like I went like that and he went we get this one now I just thought on a hill oh I'm yeah mountain man Within a minute, he started going. Ur, 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 ur. And within a minute, he started saying, Jesus, Jesus. Og svo fór hann að segja Jesus, Jesus. He heard and he spoke. Og hann heyrði og hann talaði. Og ég get sagt okkur. And after that, it was like, boom, 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 boom. Og eftir þetta, þá læknir þess náttúrulega bara allir þegar ég bara nálgaði það. When the Holy Spirit shows up, it's really not hard. Hann kom að mætt á stað inn. It, uh, I, I, I say that because so, sometimes you got to press in. Ég segir það því að stundu þarf að bara þrýsta á. Healing is the children's bread. Eh uh, læknigin er brauð barnanna. But it isn't always just like okay you heal. Ja, kemur ekki alltaf bara eitt og þrír. It's you know you got to you got to press in, you got to hear, you know what I mean? And uh, þú verður að reyna að heyra og þú verður að and, and sometimes að ganga fram. Even if it seems like nothing's happening. Og jafnvel þó ekkert virðist vera. He's working. He's ah, working. Ja, þá er hann samt að vinna. So if you need healing tonight, just slip up your hand and we'll pray for you right now. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Yes. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, just along with that, I mean, just, just healing broke out in a miraculous way. Wherever the, wherever the presence of the Lord is, wherever the presence of the Lord is, everything that Jesus did is available. Allt sem að Jesus gerði, það er það eitthvað sem að við getum nálgast. Trust me, it's not the vessel. Það er, it's það, never the vessel. Það er ekki ílátið. It's never the vessel. Það er ekki, það er ekki við. It's always him. Það er alltaf hann. It's always his presence. Það er alltaf hans nærvera. It's his presence that has an anointing. Það er hans nærvera sem kemur með þessa smurningu. And it's his anointing that destroys the yoke. Og það er þessi smurning sem að, of whatever the healing happens to be. Sem að leysir okkur undar okinu. I've seen so many miracles. Ég hef séð svo mörg kraftaverk. Ég sagði, well, well, God, I know you do that in third world countries. Ég veit, Guð, að þú gerir þetta kannski ekki þær í þriða heiminum. This is America. Þetta er bandaríkin. He is the same. En hann er sá sami. He is the same. En hann er alveg nákvæmlega sá sami. Yesterday, today, forever. He's not changing because he's in Iceland. Hann breytist ekki að þeirna á Íslandi. So slip your hand up right now if you, if for the healing. Slip your hand up again right now. I want to be able to, I, I just want to be able to just, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Just receive it because it's yours. Just receive it because it's yours. It really is yours. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. It's an inheritance. It's an inheritance. It belongs to you already. Just go ahead and get it. Just go ahead and get it. It's for you. It's the healing that was for you. He took stripes on his back. And those were for you. 
Just hang in there. I'm going to pray for everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It was for you. His healing was for you, brother. Lightning comes to the was for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Healing was for you. Receive your inheritance. It's an inheritance. Don't disqualify yourself because you're not perfect. You never will be. Hallelujah. It's, for you. You. it's an inheritance. It's an inheritance. Go ahead, just take it. It's yours. Take it, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Take it, it's yours. Spirit is there. He is. This is anointing. This is anointing. Changes everything. Changes everything. This is anointing. Destroys yokes. Brings healing. Fills people. Saves people. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. You've taught us that your presence is the most powerful thing. One day in your course is like a thousand else, Lord God. We give you praise, we worship you, we say, Lord, would you complete that which you have started tonight? Let the fire fall. Let the dead stuff Stay in the dead stuff, Lord God. Quicken our mortal bodies, Lord God. Help us to receive all that you have for us. And we'll be sure to give you all the glory, all the glory. We don't want none of it for ourselves. All the glory. Jesus' name. Amen. Jesús, yndislegs ákoma Amen og við erum bara að byrja yndislegt Mér finnst mjög mikilvægt að þegar við erum búin með sákomina að við þökkum ólum fyrir og það er alveg meira hátt að mála að flytja svona bóðskap út af því hann er og maður finnur það hann er hérna með rosa tenging við Ísland hann náttúrulega bara tengist fjölskyldun hans halda hús Ívari og Hrefnu og Árni og og ykkur þarna, já þannig að það er rosa tenging við Ísland og ég finn að hann er með svo mikið hjarta fyrir Íslandi og vinnir það sem hann var að segja er bara nákvæmlega þannig það er svo mikið búið að gerast bæði í hinu kristna heimi í lífum okkar sem bara persónir bara í daglegu lífi og lausnin er alltaf fólginn í því að fyrirgefa, sleppa tökunum og halda síðan áfram við verðum aldrei það sem að við eigum að vera í drottni ef við erum alltaf í einhverju sem var eitthvað sem særð okkur eða eitthvað sem gerðist eða leifum guði og ég bara kvet mig og ég kvet okkur öll leifum guði bara kom inn með lækningu þessa helgi tökum ákvörðun um að skilja eftir það sem að þarf að skilja eftir til þess að við getum haldið áfram má ég heyra menn út af því að viti það óvinurinn heldur okkur í viðjum hann gerir okkur óvirk móðgun er eitthvað sem að gera það verk og móðgun er ekki bara út í eitthvað einstakling, það getur verið eitthvað aðburður í okkar lífi sem við móðga okkur festir okkur og þetta er kænsku bræð óvinurins til þess að gera okkur óvirk í ríki Guðs og hann skal ekki fá meiri tíma Hans tími er búin, má ég heyra með enn. Og við allum að sækja fram. Þannig ég er svona afni, við allum að stíga á fætur, rís á fætur, stíga á fætur. Já, einmitt, akkurat. Gerum eitthvað nýtt, hoppum og einni lef. En við allum að stíga fram og við allum að 
í Jesu nafni að þá ætlum við að láta alla móðgun við sleppum minni hér við alltaf í drottins í kvöld allir sársauki allt sem hefur gert sem að er að hindra okkur í því að, að taka móti Guðs besta í dag það skal skilið eftir allt sem reiki sér upp gegn þekkingunum honum það skal skilið eftir í Jesu nafni við, við liftum við pöndum og bara lofum að hér kvöld drottin ég þakkaði fyrir þessa stund drottin minn ég þakkaði fyrir þetta tækifæri að sleppa því sem að baki er drottin til þess að seilast eftir því sem framöndan er drottin og, og drottin ég byggði að gefa okkur kraft og styrk og djörfung út að það þarf djörfung að sleppa því sem að var og til þess að taka móti því sem að þú hefur fyrir okkur og drottin hann talaði um að við værum komin inn á völlin og við værum kannski svolítið kjánaleg drottin gefði okkur drottin bara hugmyndir um hvað við eigum að gera inn á vellinum drottin minn að við séum ekki óvirk heldur að við séum full af andanum drottin að við séum í eldi eldi þínum drottin við viljum ekki neitt annað en eld þinn Jésús og drottin umfram allt að þá viljum við þig Jésús ég vil ekkit annað en þig og við viljum þig Jésús og ég byrð fyrir einum og sér hvernig þau förum heim í kvöld að við mættum kvílast vel að við mættum sofa drottin minn og við mættum koma hress á sunnudeginum full af eldi að taka við því sem að er fyrir framtíðin okkar drottin minn og við byrðum í Jésú nafni og allir liðinni sagði Nei, við getum gert betur en þetta allir liðinni sagði einu sem þann, allir liðinni sagði Já, það var lægið <laughs> Þannig að drottin blessi ykkur og varum við ykkur við sjáumst á sunnudaginn í Jesu.